This is The Motorbike Show. I've come to one of the UK's best kept secrets, classic scrambling, and we're in for a treat. Well, I don't have to tell you, but the whole classic motorcycle scene is burgeoning. You can now go classic drag racing, trials riding. There's even the revamp of the classic TT. But one scene that really is happening is classic scrambling. This is a pre-1965 classic scramble event in Gosford, outside Braintree. In the 1960s, motocross was watched by millions on TV, with a prime spot on grandstand. Recreating those glory days, the air is once again filled with the glorious smell of Castrol R. Taking place over beautiful natural terrain, this is a gentleman's sport with stunning classic bikes ranging from 250 to 650 cc. My mate Tony is a regular and gives me the lowdown. We've actually got a lot of different ranges of motorcycles, different cc's. They would have been raced back in the day. In fact, some of the riders here today would have raced them back in the 60s. The bottom line is, if it's a classic bike, anything goes. There are classes for everything, including this stunning original Tribsa and a BSA Gold Star in the 350 class. Basically, you, you can pick your poison, really, can't yeah, you? Yeah, basically, if you've got a classic bike, there'll be a class for you to race in. They're not just two wheels kicking up the dust and having fun. There are classes for mad passengers, too. I asked sidecar rider Spike if he was just there for the ride. My job is basically ballast weight. My job is to, in a left-hander, is to yeah. get as far over yeah. into the chair as possible, into the left-handers. So, so you've got to be right out. Yeah, you're right out, and you use your arm to stop anybody from coming on the inside. Oh, is that, is that what they call fending off, That's mate? the one. It's an old trick. The sidecar riders spend the race leaping from one side of the bike to the other. Looks not only exhausting, but lethal. Have you ever lost your grip, Spike? Many times. Have you? And what happens then? You then disappear. It normally ends up as a broken bone or something. Oh, really? Dislocation. Yeah. Lots, lots of damage. When these go wrong, it goes wrong big time and it hurts. This is definitely my kind of holiday. What would you say to someone who wants to get involved? No, have a go. It's good fun. If you, as long as you're fit enough, you're fine. It's the best fun you can have on three wheels. <laughs> That's how I like to put it. Well, I had to see Spike and all the other venerable adrenaline junkies on their death-defying race around the track. I'll tell you what, these sidecar guys, my gosh, they are quite incredible. And they're not hanging around. He's even waving to me, Spike, in the chair. <laughs> One crazy man. I'm having the perfect Sunday in Gosford Park, Essex, at a classic scramble, and they've even got an old hippie doing the raffle. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Step forward, please. We might be in the loo. That didn't go well. Perhaps the winners are out on track. Let's try another. Eight, four, five. Come on down. What's the prize, Leslie, for 845? You can choose whatever one they like. All right, actually, funnily enough, my number was 845, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never going to be a game show host. It's time to take a good look at the classic motorcycles knocking about the paddock. It's not just the bikes that are vintage, so is veteran scrambler Jim. Just in the last couple of races, you've done a third and a fourth. Fourth, yeah. And do you mind me asking you how old you are? I'm 77. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Mm. When did you start racing? I started in 1956. <laughs> so you were racing the bikes now here that were new then? Well, basically, the same sort of bikes, yes. Yeah. You really do get a feel you could be back in the 1950s when British motorbike manufacturers like Triumph and BSA were at their peak and battling together in these events. Today, it's those old bikes that have made a big comeback. I think, yeah, the, this 
top of racing is coming back because the modern motocross has gone up another gear. You know, they've got huge jumps and they jump as high as those trees over there, sure. you know? Nowadays, modern bikes can do crazy things like freestyling, the ultimate of modern motocross. You wouldn't see legends like Jim on bikes like this. He's keeping alive the fine traditions of scrambling on vintage bikes. Have you lost the passion at all? Obviously not. Uh, I hope to keep racing for another two or three years at least till I get to maybe 80. If you go racing here, you'll need a competition licence, but you can come along and have a go in the clubman's class, a non-racing category available to all riders on any vintage bike. It's completely open. Um, you can have a 250 to a 650, you can have a 74 bike, a 1958 bike, doesn't matter. All lumped together, clubman's, go and have some fun. That's what it's all about. Classic scrambling warms the cockles of my heart. The camaraderie amongst the competitors is truly inspirational. And it proves you don't have to be a young whippersnapper to throw yourself at the countryside. I'll tell you what, even if you have a tiny bit of Castrol R running through your veins, you have to come and see this. I promise you, it's the perfect day out.